You can pick up some Side Surf Cake Studio merch at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. Your friends will ask, what's Side Surf Cake Studio? And you can say, oh, let me show you. Natalie Side Surf here of Side Surf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a snake cake. To make this snake, I start out with some cake. So I'll stack the layers of cake and then I'll carve it into the shape of the snake's body, all coiled up like. When it comes to sculpting cake, a lot of the time it's pretty simple. I just round off a few edges, I cut a few chunks off, and it's really no big deal. But this cake, this is definitely one of the more difficult cakes to sculpt. And that's because the snake's body is layered and it bends and it folds. So I have to create the illusion that this is one long snake body all coiled up, even though it's literally just a mound of cake. Now I need to figure out which species of snake I'm going to make. So what are a few of the popular ones? Now you've got a rattlesnake, and while I think a rattlesnake would be really fun to sculpt with all those pointy scales, I really want to make something a little bit cuter. What about a Gartner snake? It's definitely cuter, but I do want this cake to be life-size, and Gartner snakes are pretty short and they're skinny. I need to fit some cake in that snake. How about a ball python? They are really, really cute. And they typically grow to be about three to five feet in length. And they aren't too skinny like that Gartner. That's it, I've got a winner. The ball python makes me say, oh. <laughs> and it's large enough to feed around 25 to 30 people. As a cake, that is. It's time to roll out some ivory modeling chocolate. <laughs> then I'll just gently place the chocolate over the cake. Then I'll manipulate the chocolate into the shape of the snake's body with some sculpting tools. They make great pets. Ball pythons, that is. They are one of the most popular pet snakes because they're docile. I like that personality trait in my snakes. I mean, tons of people have chihuahuas as pets, and those little guys get nasty real quick. <laughs> the snake tapers at both ends, and its head is pretty small too small to make out of cake. So I'm making the neck and the head out of rolled out modeling chocolate. Pythons capture their dinners not by biting and releasing venom like a lot of other snakes, but instead they wrap their bodies around their prey and they squeeze. It's like a snake hug. <laughs> it's cute, right? As the animal breathes out, the snake squeezes, and that makes it really hard for that animal to take another breath. Eventually, the animal will pass out, and that means it's snack time. I imagine that it's got to be easier to eat food that isn't running away. I'm talking to you, lions. Ball pythons have smooth scales, so to create that effect, I cut up a piece of loofah and I'm pressing it into the chocolate. Would you look at that? Not only is it easy, but it looks just like scales. And now it's time to paint. I've got a few options as far as the color and pattern on this python, and I've decided on yellow, which means that this is a banana ball python. Now I told you earlier, I'm going for cute. And I think that this pastel yellow really enhances the cuteness. Also, I can't imagine that there is a cuter name for a snake than banana ball python. The more I talk about this cake, the more I'm talking myself into getting one as a pet. 
Now, I just learned that there is something called a snake morph, which is the result of combining different species of snakes to come up with a snake that has its own color and skin patterns. So it's basically like snake breeding. <laughs> And there you have it, a banana ball python cake. What do you guys think? Is this snake cake cute? And as always, let's cut the cake. I post a brand new cake every week, so if you like this video, subscribe to this channel right now. Also, if you like this cake, you can really help me out by liking this video below. I'll see you next time for another cake.